Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Astrology Dome. My name is Galit and this is the Galactic News. I love saying the Galactic News because every day something is new about the sky and every day we have uh, new energies that are coming in. So by interpreting those new energies, we can stay current in what's going on because we are all influenced by those energies and whether we know astrology or we don't, they affect us. And if we know astrology, or at least we know what the energies are, we know how to prepare and how to do things in um, better ways, make uh, better choices. So today I'm going to talk to you about the summer solstice. Summer solstice is usually happening when the sun enters Cancer, and it's usually uh, happening in June 21st every year. In the Northern Hemisphere, it is when um, summer actually starts. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's when winter starts. So I'm going to talk about the summer, but uh, those of you who live in the Southern Hemisphere, you are actually receiving winter at the moment. But regardless, the sun is going through Cancer and we're going to decipher the cancer symbolism. So whether it's summer or winter for you, it's still the cancer symbolism. So I'd like to say something about cancer. Cancer is that sign that is usually represented by the fourth house in the natural will. It is the sign of home and family. It is where we create that safety net, that feeling of belonging, that feeling of being uh, together with the family, coming from some sort of ancestry and creating our own homes eventually. And the whole issue of what is home is really coming to light because home may be a place, but home is also a feeling. And I think that cancer talks about the feeling more than about the place, because if we feel at home, then we are in a relaxed mode. We feel that we belong, we feel loved, we feel nurtured. And if we don't have a home base, which is inner security, we don't feel those feelings. And if we are not feeling that we belong somewhere, if we don't have that base of security, inner emotional security, we're always looking for it. We, we, we all want to be secured. We human, we are security-based people, organism, and we need to belong. We need to have a, a belonging to a bigger clan, a bigger family, because that's how we grew up. That's from the beginning of time, we were in tribes and the tribe was a protective family unit. It protected us and provided everything we need. The same like modern family or the way modern family should be, right? Because sometimes it doesn't work this way and we create all kinds of traumas from uh, growing up in certain families. And we all do, we all carry some sort of trauma, but the home, is supposed to provide us with that uh, security base so we would know how to nurture ourselves and how to create our own home eventually when we fly out of the nest of our uh, parents' home and we create our own family unit. So I'd like to share the solstice uh, chart with you. Uh, let me share my screen. Now I created this chart for Los Angeles, because this is where I live, but it doesn't really matter wherever you live, it's gonna be the same energy because the planets are going to be the same. The houses may change because of the location of where you are, but we're not gonna talk about houses. We're just gonna talk about uh, the energies of the planets and the aspects they are creating. So summer solstice. Summer solstice is actually when the sun is the highest it can go in the northern in the northern hemisphere so the sun travels the ecliptic it goes up 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 and then it it is actually when it's the summer in the northern hemisphere it creates the most light it will create from that moment on the sun will diminish its light until it will become winter solstice and vice versa for those of you who lives in the southern hemisphere 
So actually think about the symbolism. The sun has climbed, 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 and it reaches its highest point. That means the summer is here. There is a change of season. And we are all spending time, especially in the Northern hemisphere, with our families, we're going on vacation. We are sticking together with those that we love. And that's part of the symbolism of cancer. So the sun is moving into zero degrees of cancer. First of all, where is the falls in your chart? Because the house you have cancer in your chart is the house that you want to build security. You want to belong there. This is where you really need to feel belonging and security. This is where you want to build that shell to protect you because this is where you're sensitive. We are all very sensitive where we have cancer in our chart. And cancer gives us that um, ability. Cancer is related to the moon. So it gives us that ability to nurture and to feed ourselves and to take care of ourselves just as well as we can take care of others or vice versa. The way we take care of ourselves, we'll take care of others. That particular house shows us how we bring others into our life to become our family, whether it's people that are really family or not, we create, we bring them into our life. So the sun moves into cancer and the moon at that time is here at three degrees Aries. Now the moon in Aries is squaring the sun in cancer. And this is the last quarter square because the moon is behind the sun, right? So a last quarter square is always bringing us the symbolism of crisis in consciousness, something we have to see, something that has changed. Well, the season has changed, but it's more than that. It's something to do with our sense of belonging and security that we have shifted, our identity has shifted, has changed. The moon is in Aries, it's all about me. It's all about me creating my identity and how uh, my authentic self wants to be heard, be seen, be shown, because we have been through such an immense transition in the past two years, haven't you? I mean, look at where you are compared to where you were two years ago. There's a tremendous shift that uh, is happening and was happening through those two years and is still happening. You are upgrading. Things have been shifting so fast. There is an acceleration. And what this shift is about is actually creating your new self-identity and bringing forth that essential, intrinsic, uh, authentic self that you came here to be. We are all, the nodes of the moon are always uh, showing us what we are letting go of, and that's the collective let go south node in Scorpio, and where we are all heading, north node in Taurus. And at the moment of this uh, summer solstice, we are all healing our trauma. South node in Scorpio is all about healing our trauma. And we all are carrying trauma. And this trauma can either um, control us and uh, create um, fear-based reactions. And those are not positive for us. We don't like to react from fear because those create all kinds of havoc and um, uncontrollable reactions that usually we are kind of sorry when we react that way. So by healing that part of us, and we still have a, well, a while to go with the South Node in Scorpio, we are given the opportunity to clear, to clean, to let go, to heal. And we are all on that trajectory right now as a collective and as individuals, because we need that. It has come a time in our evolutionary um, journey as a collective and as individuals that we need to heal. We understand that we have no, if we're not going to heal our traumas and some of those traumas, or maybe a lot of that, those traumas are coming from our homes, the homes we grew up in, uh, where we nurtured as kids, as, as we wanted to be nurtured, where we taking care of, did we have someone uh, pay attention to us and take care of us the way we really needed to or not? 
where we contained was someone loving us, taking care of us, giving us that um, child nurturing and values and security that we really needed or not. What was missing in our childhood, in our upbringing? What was not going right for us? Those are our traumas. If we were lacking in security, if somebody didn't pay attention, if somebody did something to us, if we got hurt, those are all encoded patterns in our moon. Our moon sign and placement will always represent that trauma. So if we are carrying that signature, we will keep repeating, the moon in our chart will keep repeating those habits that we have created as we were kids because we did not get what we needed as kids. We did not get the security feeling that we needed to feel. And so we keep repeating those habits. We keep repeating those reactions and they may not be so positive. Uh, let's not forget South Node in Scorpio can be really destructive, can be really painful, can hold a lot, a lot of pain. So if we didn't clean that up, it will keep resurfacing through our life, through the same pattern. I'm sure you all have some patterns you're repeating and they may not be necessarily good patterns. I know I have them. And as I refine them and heal them, there's another one coming and another one. And until you grow up and you, you heal, you allow yourself that deep healing. So I think that the summer solstice is kind of directing us to see that um, need to heal those insecurities and embrace a new um, version of ourselves that is more secure. And that's why the moon is squaring the sun. And it's a third quarter moon, as I said. So we need to realize something this summer solstice about ourselves. We need to realize what it means for us to be held, to be secured. So we can go out and venture areas to the world uh, the moon is conjunct Jupiter. We can venture to the world and expand on our individuality and go and have an adventure, Jupiter in Aries, go and have exploration and uh, expand our personality and uh, our authentic self and create something substantial out there in the world through our true identity. And this can only happen once we are secure enough to go out there to the world. So I think this is a really strong theme for this summer solstice. We also have Chiron here in Aries and we have Mars in Aries. So there's a lot of Aries energy saying, go out there, do it, do it, just do it. Go create things, go explore, go find out who you really are. It is time, the sun is up, the sun is out, the world is shining and you are ready to go. But if you don't have security, you cannot act on your behalf. First, you have to have that security. So I think this is a very, very important theme. The other thing that is really important, as you can see, Uranus is heading towards a, a conjunction with the North Node in Taurus. And the North Node in Taurus is all about security. So it really ties up very nicely to this summer solstice because Taurus is all about being secured in our bodies. Not just that, it's about security in the planet we live in, in the resources we have, in our self-worth. And self-worth is the one thing that will give us the ability to feel secure. If we don't believe that we deserve to have a good life and good things, and we believe all kind of um, uh, limiting beliefs about our self-worth, that's what the universe will provide us with. So if we have experiences through relationship, through money, through work, through friendship, if we have negative experiences, tough experiences, challenges, then every one of those experiences hold a realization to show us where it is that we don't believe that we deserve something. Because if we are getting that reflection, that means we deserve that, that somewhere inside of us, we still believe in some sort of untrue limiting belief that we deserve that, which is totally untrue. It's just a story that we have recreated because of a trauma. 
That's why trauma healing is so, so important this year. It's the major theme of this year, year and a half, that the nodes are in Scorpio Taurus. So if Scorpio is about healing, Taurus is about creating that sustainable stability security system, whether it's values, self-worth, or financial security, because financial security is really a reflection of what we believe about ourselves, about our self-worth. So Uranus as um, transiting here at the time of the solstice, meeting the North Node is really saying, you know, this is an aha moment. I'm not there yet. I'm not touching the North Node yet, but I, I am going to bring you some realization. When Uranus comes, we have this understanding, a higher download of a higher understanding, seeing the big picture, something we couldn't see before suddenly becomes more, um, and we become more enlightened. It becomes clearer and in unexpected ways. So I think this is uh, not yet a conjunction, but it's heading there. It's building towards that conjunction. So that means that we are heading towards that realization. And I'm sure you ha already have been getting those small aha moments that are building up and telling you, you are worthy. You are who you are and you need to be um, in integrity and you need to be um, trusting your own self because you have something special to say. You, you came here with a message. You came here with something to do. You are on an evolutionary journey. There is um, a reason for you to be in this life. There is a reason. And that reason is to work on something. You have been accumulating uh, past life experiences, this life experiences, and you need to grow those experiences into a certain upgrade into a higher and deeper understanding of who you are and what you came here to do. We are all learning. We are all learning a big lesson this lifetime, every lifetime. But we keep repeating lifetime after lifetime some sort of experiences and lessons until we graduate. And I think this lifetime is providing us with an extraordinary opportunity to upgrade, to um, accelerate that journey of karma, if you want to call it this way, of learning our evolutionary purpose, because there is a purpose. And through that purpose, we're growing. We came here to grow. And I think that um, conjunction between Uranus to the North Node is collectively showing us what we need to know. So maybe just uh, around the solstice, which is right here, um, we will get some more understanding and clarification what it is that we need to know. And look at Venus, she's, she's in Taurus, but two days later, she's moving into Gemini and Mercury is in Gemini at the time of the solstice. So Mercury is already bringing us information, but Venus, Venus is all about our self-worth right? And self-love and self-respect and how we project our value, our value system. Maybe it's time to see something about our value system. Venus will move to uh, Gemini, giving us more information about that value system. So this all gives us a picture that we need to pay attention to what we believe to be true, to why we believe that to be true. Is it really true? and what we believe that we value in life and why do we value those things and not other things? What is really important? What do we really value in life? And clean out, clear out the noise. There is a lot of noise from the media. There's a lot of noise from things that we consume that not necessarily may be true for us. So what is really true for you? What, when you are sitting down with yourself and you're thinking about what do you value in this life, what is really important without the information from other people, without other people's influence, what is really important for you? 
I think this summer solstice is all about that. And it will bring us a realization, some sort of realization. And not long after that, we have a new moon in Cancer, which will bring us again, the sense of security and how we build security. So this is all tying up to how we build a sustainable and stronger um, platform that we can um, identify and, and, and feel secured and taken care of so we can go out to the world and create whatever it is that we are here to create. So I think this is in a nutshell what uh, my uh, view of the summer solstice this is. And first of all, thank you for watching everybody. I really appreciate that you're here and watching my videos and that you're commenting. I love reading all your comments and I'm answering. I love answering uh, everybody. So please keep on commenting, tell me what you think. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. I appreciate that. That's how I grow my channel and reach more people. And um, thank you for being here. I love this astrology journey and uh, the information that astrology gives us. So until next time, become the best version of yourself today and every day. And I will see you next time.